right, welcome to another exciting episode of Tall Garage. Uh, today's video, as you probably get by the, hopefully by the title of the video, right? This is a 6R80 uh, transmission, automatic, the six speed, right? Yes. Yes. They came with Ferds. You see, birds. you see back there the Ford. And uh, the power, or not the power stroke, that's cool. Uh, the Eagle Boost in the Ford back there, the 14. Big old piece of junk. Yeah, it is now a big old piece of junk. 80,000 miles took crap. So we're gonna LS swap it. Now this video isn't really about that. If you want to watch that, us putting the LS in the, the truck, uh, make sure to subscribe and follow that video. Well, this video is just gonna be on the transmission adapter. It's a really nice piece. And as far as we know, they don't really exist uh, until we ask for one. So this is obviously a, the V6 um, 6R80, and they came in V8. Uh, the V6 version is better than the V8 version. Apparently. But also, they're cheaper because um, everybody wants the V8. Right, they want the, the coyotes and stuff. So these are actually a little bit cheaper to get a hold of, as of right now anyway, that might change. Um, so yeah, so we needed a way to mount this to the LS engine over there. And uh, we, we couldn't find any adapters that did that. We just found um, for the bigger uh, V8 pattern, Ford V8. So we looked around and Kyle reached out to Josh at uh, Performance Adapters, real nice guy. And we told him what we wanted, and he uh, made it right up and got it out to us pretty quick, actually. So great right, guy. Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Uh, so we'll put um, the link to this site down in the description. And if you guys you know want to get a hold of this, uh, get a hold of this adapter, uh, you can reach out to him. Like, I don't think he has it up on his site or anything like that. Just talking about it. But anyway, yeah. So we're just gonna go over the adapter. Um, what it all came with. Uh, and like we don't have, we, we didn't get a price from him obviously, so you know that's to be determined. But we'll show you what what our kit came with, and um, we'll show you how it bolts up. So we're gonna get started. Welcome to Tall Garage. All right, so let's talk about what came in our kit, right? So we have obviously we have the main piece, the adapter from LS to uh, V6 6R80. We have a uh, flex plate here. We have the hub adapter to space everything out. All the hardware, including dowels, and a starter. All right, brother Kyle is going to be installing the plate today. Uh, first thing, guys, uh, clean up all your maintenance surfaces real good. You know, wire brush, scraper, whatever you got to do. Make sure everything is nice and clean. You don't want anything to be off. Don't want your dowels not to fit right. Blow all your holes out with some air, you know. You don't know what's in there. Most Some of them are blind holes. You don't want to break anything. Uh, all right, we're going to install a plate first, uh, just torque everything down uh, to LS transmission torque specs. Should be fine. That's what we did. Kit comes with a little blue Loctite. So, you know, if you want to throw some Loctite on there, go for it. Probably not necessary. After that, we're going to go ahead and install the hub adapter. Again, we just used LS uh, crank specs for that. So go ahead and torque them down. Throw a little blue Loctite on there. That should be good. All right, now throw your flex plate on. Again, we used LS torque specs for the bolts. I believe we even used some old LS uh, flex plate bolts. So, yeah, go ahead, get that uh, cranked down. Use some blue Loctite on that as well. And then the last thing we had to do is getting the torque converter into the flex plate, which I will kind of admit was a little finicky because usually you use bolts and you just, you know, reach in there and you throw the bolt into the torque converter. Well, this torque converter had studs, which was a little awkward. So we kind of had to line the studs up and then bring the transmission together, which wasn't really ideal, but uh, we made it work. We did put a washer behind the, um, between the flex plate and the torque converter. We did a little quick math on the original Ford engine to see how things were spaced out. And we thought that maybe a little bit of space there would be good. Not sure if it was necessary or not, but that's what we did. Got the plate and back the train and the motor. We got the training on the plate and we got the torque converter hooked up. Everything went great. But there's only one issue is he had this bolt hole drilled and tapped right here, but not this one. 
and you can't get a bolt in here. So we, I drilled and tapped this out so I can put a bolt in it. This is the last one on this side of the transmission that holds it on. Um, this is the first revision of the plate, so we're gonna have him fix that. And uh, besides that, everything went together really good. I'm really happy with the kit so far. Ah. All right, everybody, so that is the overview on the Performance Adapters V6 6R80 to LS adapter. Like I said, the link will be down in the description. If you guys are interested in it, uh, price to be determined. And like I said, uh, first revision, so I'm sure there will be improvements made. Uh, now, if you want to see the project, the rest of the project, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be stuffing this in a 2014 Ford F-150. So that will be coming up on the channel real soon. I uh, hope to see you guys there. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And um, we'll see you on the next one.